Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. This is Wrestling Universal. Here we talk nothing but All Elite Wrestling and WWE. Now, I'm not happy. I'm pissed off. All right. I don't usually rant. I don't do rant videos, to be honest. I don't get angry with the product. I don't really go mad at anything that Vince McMahon does, Bruce Pritchard does on Raw, SmackDown or NXT. Tony Khan, AEW, that's a completely different story. That's a new company, so we'll give it time. Woken up today, loads of news, okay? I've reported everything I need to, but I've left this one till the end. AOP, the Authors of Pain, have been released. Yes, I'm going to repeat it again. AOP, the Authors of Pain, have been released. I'm not happy at all. How you can't do something good with these two, the built like absolute shit houses, they're huge, and you can't push these guys. You can't give these guys a title, tag team titles. You couldn't do nothing with them. You've had to release them, really. Nah, man. AOP, the Authors of Pain, haven't been seen on WWE television for a while. <sighs> now, Aikam and Razor aren't coming back. WWE have released the former NXT Tag Team Champions from their contracts effectively today. They will likely have a go day non-compete clause associated with this release. The last time fans saw AOP, they saw following around Seth Rollins as two of his disciples. An injury for Razor took them out of action and now WWE has decided to release both of them from their contracts. WWE has come to terms on the release of Aza and Razor AOP. We wish them all the best in their future endeavours. Vince McMahon. WWE announced today that they are future endeavouring both members of AOP. This comes as quite as a shock. It was not expected as many fans were wondering how they might fit into the new stories. WWE is telling inside the Thunderdome. We'll have to see if there's going to be more releases. There will be more releases. And from Wrestling Universal, I hope you all know I'm pissed off. All right. This story's done my head in. I understand that if you were going to release people, do it when you was releasing everyone. Do you understand? Like, you had this storyline weeks ago, two months ago, you released everyone. But why have you kept these guys on your payroll? But now you're getting rid of them. I could understand, but like, if they're not on television, have them go to gym, turn into absolute Brock Lesnar's, the pair of them, build them up. They're already big guys anyway. Get them in the gym, turn them into bodybuilders, give them some more steads than what they're already on, and then bring them back as two beasts. You could have put masks on them. You could have done anything, but you chose to get rid of them. The, these are going to go all elite wrestling, man. I'm telling you now. I don't blame them. I hope they go AEW. I hope they go to AEW. WWE just doesn't know what to do with their wrestlers. All right. They don't know what to do with them, man. And this just proves it. These two, I, I could understand, but their in-ring prowesses, they're good. They're good in-ring, both of them. They look mean. The shoot fighters. You could have turned them into shoot fighters. You could have had them on Raw Underground. You, you could have done something with these two, but yet, because you've got nothing for them, you're getting rid of them. <sighs> this goes to the inner, inner, inner circles of the WWE creative, okay? You, like, the fact that these two guys have been released, you ain't even put them back down to NXT, you could have put them in Royal Underground, you didn't even do that. You, you've got nothing for these guys. These two, when they first come in, it was like there was the shield. All you needed is one more. All right, you had Seth Rollins, but come on. Like, nah, man, I'm pissed off. Let me know what you people think down below. Do you think that these two guys should have been released? Tell me, please, please tell me. I'm going to leave the comment section open on this one video. The reason I've took the comment section off the videos is because I'm having people come on there, leave sexual explicit messages on my channel. This is a wrestling channel. Do you understand? And I'm having goons come on my channel, like, leaving naughty words and that. All right, the channel's not for kids, but still, kids could come on here and see them comments, you know. It, it, it's not allowed people here at Wrestling Universal. If you've enjoyed the video, 
give it a thumbs up. Today's topic was the WWE release AOP from their contracts. Give the video a thumbs up if you think these geezers should have stayed. Peace.